Hi everyone, my name is Ifedayo and I'm a Nigerian beauty blogger based in Lagos. Here on my YouTube channel, I share makeup reviews, skincare reviews, and some lifestyle content. So if you'd like to see more of that, please don't forget to subscribe. So this month is Acne Awareness Month and I thought that it would be a great idea to share uh, my favorite products for acne. I do not have very acne prone skin. I get breakouts during that time of the month and also when my skin is congested oily or more oily and um, more frequently i've been having breakouts since covid started since the, since um since we've had to wear masks that being said i want to share some products that i think have helped me and have helped people who i know that are suffering from acne so let's dig in um i'll be going through these um products in terms of ingredients ingredients they are major ingredients or they are active ingredients that they contain and i'll be starting with salicylic acid um, salicylic acid is one of the more most popular ingredients around for treating acne and the reason this is so popular is because salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid so it helps to exfoliate the skin and the reason salicylic acid is particularly beneficial is because salicylic acid is lipophilic and what that means is that it's able to penetrate all clogged pores or congested pores and because it is lipophilic it is able to um, exfoliate um, oily skin better it helps to really break the bonds that hold dead skin cells together and really helps to get into those pores and help to exfoliate your skin it also helps reduce um oil or sebum production as well talking about salicylic acid my favorite product that I have used that contains salicylic acid is the Polar's Choice 2% BHA um, solution. This I have raved about so so many times about this product on YouTube, on Instagram, and it's really the gold. It's like the GOAT. It helps to clear out mouth to moderate acne it helps with hyperpigmentation as well helps to really brighten your skin and even your skin texture i really really love this all you have to do is wet a cotton pad with this and pat it across your face or you can also pour it into your palms and pat it into your skin either way works and i think that this is one of the most efficacious products containing salicylic acid that i have used personally because it really really helps with those breakouts and what i notice is that when i have breakouts and when i apply this consistently for two to three days my breakout reduces in size becomes less inflamed and if it's a cystic one if it's one of those very painful ones underneath the skin it helps to reduce the inflammation that i am that i am experiencing at that time it's really really a beautiful product i rave about it all the time and i really love this products another product that contains salicylic acid which i really really like as well and which i really saved me when i started having mask induced acne or masking is this bliss clear genius toner plus serum this also contains salicylic acid or contains niacinamide centella asiatica and some other really nice skin loving ingredients within it and this really helps to exfoliate your skin exfoliate those clo um, those clogged pores and also helps in treating acne i would say of the two of them um the polar choice is more effective but this is also really great because it also has other beneficial ingredients that help to soothe your skin while going through the exfoliating process also this one really helps to control your sebum levels which i noticed significantly because it contains zinc as well so it really helped to control my sebum levels and my skin felt less oily when i was using this i usually recommend that if you are unsure about using salicylic acid in leave-on products like any of these two you can go ahead and use a salicylic acid cleanser and there are two salicylic acid cleansers that i recommend the first is the inkily salicylic acid cleanser I, I have used that cleanser in the past i do not have it with me right now that cleanser is amazing for acne prone skin it's amazing for acne skin it's amazing when you have breakouts what i do is that i wash my face i apply the cleanser onto my skin and then leave it for about a minute or two and then rinse my skin off and it's a really really beautiful 
cleanser for acne prone skin another cleanser which is really beautiful for acne prone skin is CeraVe renewing essay cleanser I will leave that the, the pictures of those cleansers on the screen so you can check that out but that is also another really good salicylic acid cleanser which I have not used personally um, I've heard good reviews about it for, for treating acne so if your skin cannot handle salicylic acid in a leave-on product or you're worried because you have very sensitive skin or your skin is really irritated at that point in time I think that salicylic acid cleansers would maybe a good way to go obviously they will not work as effectively as leave-on products but um, it's a good way to start if you're worried if you're new to, ke to chemical exfoliation or if you have very sensitive or irritated skin the next product I'm talking about is benzoyl peroxide and benzoyl peroxide is between salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide my experience with both ingredients have been really really amazing and but benzoyl peroxide is also another amazing amazing ingredient for acne for breakouts when you have that very especially for cystic acne when you have that really painful breakout underneath your skin and this is why benzoyl peroxide has antibacterial properties it has anti-inflammatory properties that it helps to kill the bacteria that usually causes acne that's the propionic bacterium acne so it helps to kill that bacteria and, and also has anti-inflammatory properties so it helps to, helps to calm down the inflammation that goes on with acne i usually use it in a leave-on cream like this solution that contains two to ten about two varying between two to ten percent of um, benzoyl peroxide another really nice way of using a um, benzoyl peroxide if you cannot tolerate it because it can be very quite drying is to use it in a cleanser form like i explained earlier with salicylic acid so one very good cleanser that contains benzoyl peroxide is the CeraVe acne foaming cleanser if i remember the name correctly i'll leave a picture here so you guys can check that can see that but that cleanser is also a really good cleanser to use so that's the second ingredient that i like for treating acne third um kind of products i should talk about are products that contain a combination of exfoliants and this is better when your skin is less irritated and you um, want an extra exfoliating step one that is, i really like personally is the polish choice 25 percent aha and 2 percent bha i really like this one because this one is far less irritating than the ordinary one so it doesn't irritate your skin as much does not sting as much as well and also contains ingredients that soothe your skin like allantoin and um the tasmanian blueberry i can't remember exactly what it is i'll put it on the screen here that it contains that helps to calm your skin during the exfoliant process so this also helps as well with breakouts and um, your skin is less inflamed the fourth ingredients i'm talking about are retinoids so retinoids ranging from adapalene which is an over-the-counter retinoid to um, tretinoin. So adapalin, which, um, popularly known by the brand name Differin, is a really good is a really good um, ingredient for acne. It's a weaker retinoid, and it's really good because it helps to increase cell turnover, and in so doing, helps in treating acne. It is also a really good ingredient because it has anti-aging benefits. So it helps to plump your skin, reduce the appearance of fine lines, and is an all-over great product, uh, great ingredient for acne. The other um, ingredients would be tretinoin which is a prescription product as opposed to adapalene um, and how tretinoin works is that it helps to treat acne because it helps to get into the sebaceous follicle um, and can be can really help to to prevent comedones from occurring can also help to prevent recurrences of um, comedones it um, also really helps with the inflammation process as well that cause we are accurate and also increases cell turnover so it's an all-round great product for I mean, our prescription products our, our prescription um, skincare products so please see your dermatologist before you use them even if you're in Nigeria please see a dermatologist before using isotretinoin or tretinoin and that sort of products that are really beneficial for people who have acne prone skin or for people who have acne are moist soothing moisturizers i think when you're treating acne people always remember the actives they remember the salicylic acid benzoyl peroxide the retinol the tretinoin the adapalene and all of that good stuff but they forget the most important part which is soothing and repairing and nourishing and supporting the skin barrier if you are treating acne with an active you're putting on these um these active ingredients on your skin you need to help soothe your skin because of any irritation you might you might experience using those active ingredients and you also need to help support your skin barrier a healthier skin barrier um, has better defense mechanisms a healthier skin barrier helps to um, prevent acne and also is less inflamed so soothing moisturizers and soothing skincare products 
are really really good so watch out for skincare products that contain alantoin that contain glycerin that contain ceramides that contain um centella asiatica which is tiger grass watch out for products that contain those ingredients that are really great for soothing your skin repairing your skin supporting your skin barrier and which helps with reduction of inflammation in the long run a really good soothing cream that i really like that helps to soothe my skin especially when i'm having a lot of breakouts is this dr jart tiger grass calming gel cream i have used it <laughs> it's almost out but i am holding on to it for special moments and when my skin is feeling overall inflamed i really like to go in with this it really calms my skin it actually feels really soothing on the skin when you apply it and also really helps to calm your skin it's moisturizing but at the same time really calming and has some really nice soothing ingredients it contains alantoin contains glycerin also contains septella asiatica and contains niacinamide to soothe support and nourish your skin barrier how um, you're dealing with acne another product that I should that I will not stop talking about if you have acne prone skin and for everybody in general is sun protection sun sun protection UV damage is not great for your skin you're using all these actives some of which can increase your sensitivity to the sun especially beta hydroxy acid salicylic acid so it's very important for you to wear sunscreen so please don't forget to use your sunscreen in the morning after your skincare routine to really really help with protecting your skin preventing uv damage because what uv damage does is that uv damage um, causes inflammation increases inflammation in your skin and uv damage reduces your defense mechanisms that your skin would naturally has and damages your skin barrier so please please and please use sunscreen keep your skin protected keep your skin strong and keep your skin healthy please use sunscreen those are basically all the products that i would recommend for someone who's struggling with acne um other tips i would recommend here and there include one avoid picking your pimples avoid applying friction touching rubbing your skin because your hands are actually quite dirty that's one so your hands i've touched that have touched surfaces then rubbing it all over your skin i think people should keep their hands away from their face except when you want to apply your skincare so you do not need to rub your face touch it pick it even if you do not have acne prone skin to be honest just avoid keep, keep your hands away from your face <laughs> yeah so i think that's one one very good option if you have pimples or breakouts try not to play with them try not to um try not to play with them try not to don't try to bring them to a head or try to make sure it comes out much more quickly or try to ab be abrasive if you're not a professional you do not have any business poking pricking squeezing twisting pressing a pimple just let it be <laughs> let it be use products that will help to reduce the inflammation calm it down and um treat the acne the next thing I should mention, obviously, is something everybody talks about: changing your bed sheets often, because sometimes when your the um, dirt on your bed sheets um, and even on your pillowcases can also be contributory so please keep that in mind change your, your bed sheets and pillowcases regularly another thing i should mention is that your hair products sometimes people have a lot of breakouts around their hairline and it's important to keep your hair products as much as possible away from your face because sometimes some of those ingredients that, this, that your um, hair products contain are irritating to your skin so sometimes you notice that you have breakouts around your hairline because of the irritation caused by um hair ingredients that are irritating or that are comedogenic i think the rule with acne for me is um i don't want to say less is more because sometimes more is more it depends on what your how your skin is but i think that with acne the, the important things are to exfoliate with ingredients that penetrate oil cloth pores or penetrate sebaceous follicles reduce inflammation with soothing ingredients protect your skin also with soothing ingredients and also wear sunscreen and also kill the bacteria um, that is responsible for acne i think if you are able to achieve the acne will um, gradually resolve over time it's just very and it's very very important i will not stop saying it. it's very very important to soothe your skin and support your skincare barrier with with ingredients that are very very soothing and skin supporting and barrier supporting when 
hope you are you are treating acne if you'd like me to do a full video on products that help to support your skin barrier please let me know in the comment section below i'll definitely i'll definitely get to doing that if there's any other video you'd like me to touch on during this acne awareness month please let me know and i also get across to doing that i hope this video helps you i hope this video was informative and if you have any questions about any of the products or anything i mentioned please leave your questions in the comment section below i'll get to it thank you so much for watching i hope you found this video helpful once again if you did don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share this video to your family and friends or anyone you think who might, might need it Thank you so much for watching once again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.